welcome to Cyclones TV, your one stop for all things Cyclones. I'm Sarah Kincart. And I'm Dave Van Gorder here in the Thunderbolt Suite at MCU Park. We will be with you every Monday showing behind the scenes footage, highlights, and game recaps. One of the things you can look forward to is an inside look at some of Brooklyn's local attractions. This week we're doing our very own MCU Park. Let's take a look at some of what the ballpark has to offer. I'm Sarah Kincart with Cyclones TV and we are here at MCU Park. MCU Park lies in the center of Surf Avenue right here in Brooklyn, New York. In 2001, it opened and became the center attraction of Coney Island. It falls just steps away from the boardwalk and lies right underneath the majestic parachute jump. Let's take a look. Inside the front of MCU Park, there's a sculpture of Pee Wee Reese and Jackie Robinson, two of Brooklyn's finest baseball players. This sculpture not only represents a great friendship, but also lies as an inspiration for people today and kids of the future. Here on the first base side of MCU Park lies the Brooklyn Wall of Remembrance. This wall is a tribute to those who were lost on September 11th of 2001. It shows images of local heroes, firefighters, policemen, and other servicemen who lost their lives that day. I am sitting inside MCU Park where 7,500 fans can enjoy a baseball game. The Cyclones are the first professional baseball team in Brooklyn since the Dodgers left Ebbets Field in 1957. MCU Park may be the home of the Cyclones baseball team, but it also hosts many other events, including weddings, concerts, and even other sporting events. On any given night, this stadium can hold over 12,000 fans. After Hurricane Sandy hit Coney Island in 2013, the Cyclones transitioned their grass field to artificial turf. The dimensions here at MCU Park are 315 in left field, 412 in center, and 325 in right. Besides the baseball scene, MCU Park can be seen in the spotlight of today's pop culture. From TV shows and movies and even commercials, MCU Park is in the limelight. And that's a wrap, Cyclone fans, as we finish our tour here at MCU Park. I hope you learned a thing or two, and I can't wait to see you here this season. See you later, Brooklyn. I'm Sarah Kincart for Cyclone TV. A lot of personality at this ballpark. What would you say is your favorite part? You know, I'd say my favorite part is that you can get a great view from any seat in the ballpark, and I just can't wait for baseball to be back. Yeah, we're less than a week away from opening day here at MCU Park, and we have a lot of exciting things planned for this season. Some of the days you and your friends can especially look forward to this season are the Sunday fun days, Thursday Thursdays, and fireworks on Fridays. The Cyclones will also be hosting this year's New York Penn League All-Star Game later in August where stars from across the league will have the opportunity to suit up here and play at MCU Park. But for now, let's take a closer look at this week's games. The Cyclones' first opponent of the 2014 season is their New York City rival, the Staten Island Yankees. Cyclones start their season away at Staten Island on Friday and then return for their home opener on Saturday. And although we look forward to opening day here at MCU Park, we also check in with the other teams in the Mets organization. Let's take a quick look at how the other teams are doing so far this season. The Kingsport Mets finished first in the Appalachian League West last season and they'll be out to defend their title beginning June 19th. Down in St. Lucie, the Mets are 35-28 and 28 in the Florida State League. They are in second place behind the Fort Myers Miracle and just a game and a half behind. Jairo Perez is leading the team batting 360 with 7 home runs and 30 RBIs. Pitcher Steven Matz is 3-4 with a 2.13 ERA and pitched 63.1 innings. The Savannah Sand Nats sit at 40 and 19 so far in the South Atlantic League. That's good for first place in the Southern Division. Jeff McNeil's hitting 346, and Kevin McGowan leads the pitchers with a 1.66 ERA. Three starters have an ERA under 2.5. The Mets Double A team, the Binghamton Mets, are 32 and 29 in the EL East and are in second place. Pitcher Darren Gorski is 4 and 2 with a 2.22 ERA and has 54 strikeouts. We've hit the jackpot out in the Pacific Coast League. The Las Vegas 51s are 36 and 27. That's the second most wins in the league, and they're first place in the Pacific Southern Division. Allen, I swear I'm not related to Lenny Dykstra, is hitting 301 with a team leading 45 ribbies. Rafael Montero is 4 and 1 on the bump. And then just down the road in Queens, our New York Mets are 28 and 35 in the National League. Jonathan Neese is 3-3 with a 2.68 ERA and has pitched 77.1 innings. Daniel Murphy leads the team with a 3.05 batting average and 10 stolen bases. And 
that's all for this week's Around the Organization. We'll catch up with you next week. We have a lot to look forward to this season, including on Friday, June 13th, we will have a Cyclones TV exclusive. You'll get to meet some of the players and coaches before our first game of the season. And that's all we have this week for Cyclones TV. Again, keep your eye out for Friday for that exclusive team report. You can catch us every Monday on our YouTube channel with a new episode. But make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at BK Cyclones. All questions and comments can be directed through our Twitter handle. Until next time, I'm Dave Van Gorder. And I'm Sarah Kinkart for Cyclones TV. See you Friday.